Welcome back, gang, gang. Welcome back. The next sign up, the next element up <laughs> is Earth. Let's see what the divine want to say for the Earth signs. And y'all already coming out in your own reading. We have six of pentacles and we have two of pentacles. So you're no longer, well, I said, damn, no longer like I made a decision for you. Some of you guys are deciding where to give your money to or where to give your energy, your stability, your time, your love. You just deciding on where to give it to because where you've been, get, look, six of cups came back out. So where you've been giving it to is not where you want to give. Like, I, as damn. King of Swords, some of y'all are tapping into this Gemini, Libra, Aquarius energy. Like, some of y'all are verbally expressing the option or the choice that you chose. You're no longer giving to something that don't serve you. I like this energy. Because we got the damn two of wands. Like, yeah, somebody's leaving a relationship because this relationship don't serve them. Only thing is bringing is pain, heartache. Um, somebody is hurt. Like, somebody is hurt, hurt. Somebody hurt, but hurt. Somebody could have fell on their ass or this relationship or whatever you're dealing with, a job, something put you on your ass and now you're out for vengeance due to a child. So that's what it was. Somebody could have possibly, somebody could have possibly, a man could have possibly got his balls snipped and a woman's claiming or screaming she's pregnant and it's not his kid. So he knows because he, he, he don't, he don't, his shooter don't, his shooter, his bullets get jammed. His shooter don't shoot. I don't know. It's just something with a kid. Page of Wands that's going to break your heart. So maybe this kid ain't yours or maybe something happened to a child. I pray that don't nothing happen to nobody's kid unless it's a damn cane. If it's a cane, get it up out of here. I'm just Because this person just sit. Oh, yes. This is a bitch. This is a Gemini, Libra, Aquarius. Y'all dealing with. Because I kept saying this is fucking Earth. Y'all were coming through in it. In a fucking beginning, and fire is passion. So th this is what I'm seeing here telling you, and we just came from up out of fire signs. Somebody is a Gemini Libra Aquarius. You're, some Capricorn, Taurus, or Virgo is dealing with a Gemini Libra Aquarius. Some of you guys could be dealing with a fire sign or a water sign, but I'm t this main message is mainly for somebody like a Taurus, Capricorn, or a Virgo that's dealing with a Gemini Libra Aquarius. I'm telling you, somebody's a liar. They're a manipulator. Some kid ain't yours or... It's just something. This person is lazy. They sorry as fuck. Is what they're telling me. Like I'm sorry to say this, but I. This is. Oh my god. Like somebody may do something with their job. Like where they work two or three hours or something. They could possibly go to school because this. Oh my god. Like somebody sits on their ass at home and don't do nothing, but try to look cute and ain't even cute. While you work, somebody is putting in all this hard work and now they starting to think like, damn, this shit is too much on me. Ain't shit going in my favor. Ain't nothing moving. Only thing that's, 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 that's at least going up a little bit is my money. But I get the money. They can't even say their money because of this queen of swords with this king of swords. Like this person brings out the bad in somebody. Somebody's dealing with a, somebody dealing with a, a fucked up ass individual. A Capricorn, Taurus, or Virgo is dealing with a fucked up ass individual. Earth signs. I'm telling you. You need to release this shit. Uh, because you didn't want to release it. The most high cast judgment upon it. That's why everything is shitty. That's why everything's been out in the cold. Ain't shit been going right. Because you need to leave this person alone. Somebody works for the devil. They toxic as fuck. Somebody do voodoo. Black magic. Somebody steps on somebody. So, somebody use somebody as a leg up. Uh, coughing. If you do not release this person, the most I said, I got a coffin for you too. Is a woman, somebody, a, a parent, a, mm, a kid and a mother, or a mother and a father, somebody, a, a family about to get taken up out of here, the whole bloodline, because somebody's dealing with a karmic. You're dealing with a karmic ass. Earth signs, y'all are in a fucked up ass relationship or a fucked up work environment. I know this energy too well because fire signs was going through this like it was a plague. It's like y'all do not want that. That's like consecutive years of taking 10 steps forward, getting knocked back 30. Like judgment has been, you know this. They're telling me because ain't shit been going right. You ain't even happy. Like the most I presented you somebody that made you happy. Water sign could be a Cancer, Scorpio, or a Pisces, or a Leo. Like, and now, now you sitting back admiring this person or seeing that they got stability and now it's hurting you? I don't know. It's just like maybe somebody had to choose. Maybe somebody had to choose between two people, right? And they chose the wrong person. 
It's like the Most High gifted them a Queen of Cups, but they went to word of mouth. And the, the word of mouth they seeing now by dealing with this person that whatever that they talk game didn't match their actions. They they didn't walk it like they talk it. This person left something that gave them the sun to go for something being out in the cold. They went from something that was going to bring them stability and be placed upon the world, but instead was being placed upon the world is the sadness, the energy that these people are in. This this both of this relationship is toxic. These people is evil. They don't know they. Not both, not okay. The person who who is waking up that's holding back that don't want to get in this relationship, they're, they're not evil. The people that they're dealing with, whether it's a man or a woman, they're evil and they use sex magic or some type of somebody's not even having sex, somebody don't even want them to fuck them. Somebody's like ill, somebody's disgusted. That's why you got the four pinnacles. Somebody rather, oh my God, somebody rather be tied up and ran over or something or just left her dead than to fuck with you. That's what somebody's saying. Then the bitch is saying, or the nigga is saying, you stuck with me. I don't know. Somebody's putting in work. Look, Ten of Pentacles in reverse. This is not your family. I shuffled up these cards. This shit shouldn't be in, in no fucking reverse. This bitch or this nigga is not your family. You could have possibly created a family, but it's not your family. The divines want to show you that it's not your family with the DNA results. And if it is your kid, because the most high just said, and for some of y'all, it is your kid, the most high gonna take her. Y'all gonna be y'all gonna be a single father for real, or a single mother. Some one of the parent, the parent that's been out here doing voodoo or been doing this this negative shit, they're gonna get off it. Look at this. I'm telling you, because they kept you away from a real love or an earth angel, somebody that could possibly give you strength, like you held back from this person. That's what you get. I mean, that's what you get. That's what you get. That's what you sitting in now. This is all that's coming to you. Isolation. This is the only thing you can do now. The only person that can help you is the most high. Earth signs. Capricorn towards the Virgo. If you are in this energy and you're wondering how to get up out, you got to surrender to the divine. You got to release what don't serve you. This is toxic. Somebody's the devil. Somebody talks. Somebody always running. Look, pay attention to the red flag. Somebody always running their fucking mouth, then trying to come back in with passion. Oh, I'm sorry, baby. Oh, nah, 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 nah. Trying to act like they the past life relationship and it was the new love the whole goddamn time. It says, this could be the one, but you didn't pay attention to the red flags. Instead, you binded yourself to something that wasn't the one. They just got you with passion or something. They had a kid or something. Look, a heart-to-heart -heart conversation. You thought this did this person use trickery or um, manipulation to get you back or to take you away from this person and you fell for it. So, this person not wanting to reciprocate back to you, forgiving and learning, that's what? They forgave you, but you're going to have to learn. That you're no longer going to be with this. This person don't want you. This five of cups. This person is the sun. Why the fuck would the sun want the five of pentacles? Think about it. If you are the sun, why would you... Which one would you want? Think about it. Which one would you want? Would you want someone who expressed they love to you by telling you that they love you? Or do you want a fuck buddy? Exactly. That's what I'm saying. Telling you. And that's what the fuck you got. And now you learning because your finances and your career is fucked up. Because you gave this fucking relationship a chance when you shouldn't. It said pay attention to the red flags. Like somebody like you left a pay a play for like you left an earth angel. This is a regular person with an angel. Somebody left a gifted person for a harlot. Hey, hey, look. You could have been basking in the ambience. You could have been held by somebody that got wings. Now you fucking with a bitch that's Red Bull. Cause Red Bull don't really give you wings. This was in reverse, but I'm picking it up like this. Like you 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 get nothing. This is the only thing you get. Uh, they say, look at the bottom. Deception. What's behind it? Worth waiting for. You, oh my lord. You thought this person was going to wait for you? No. This person is gone. This person's leaving your ass out. A lot of you want to, a lot of you guys chose somebody over somebody thinking the grass was greener. That person's not going to fuck with you. Don't you dare step to that person. I'm telling you, you better love yourself. The, the, when you this person's about to get married, I'm telling you, this person don't want you unrequited love. You trying to keep an open mind and thinking you can't spend a block back on this person. This person is a god or a goddess. They're, it's a no. They're not on your journey. I'm telling you, do not even disrespect yourself. You're going to place insecurity, self-esteem, whatever you left from this toxic ass relationship, you're going to go right back into it because the person that you're trying to reach out to, they don't want you. It's unrequited love, meaning they know, they, they know better. They like, what? You think you're going to spend a block back? That's disrespectful as fuck. I wish a motherfucker would. I'm telling you, if you're thinking that this person wants you, think again. It's unrequited love. They don't want you. This is going to be the person, like I told a few guys, uh, well, a few guys, I told two guys, like... 
Damn, they said it's a Capricorn. I told a Capricorn and a fucking Aquarius this. I told them. I said, you're going to tell your family, your kids, or whoever, this the one that got away. Meaning me. Like, but I'm not putting myself in this energy. I'm just saying, like, somebody going to be telling their grandkids about this person that got away. All because they were stuck in a relationship. So they're going to be telling their grandkids, if you love somebody, go. In whatever don't serve you, don't listen to family, don't listen, don't let nobody play a part, follow your heart. This is what this person is going to be telling their grandkids all because of they had to learn a lesson because this person don't want them. That's the message. And I'm going to end this reading. Look at this. Courtship, high honor in the house. This is what the fuck you gave up. And, and the years, 20, in 2020, uh, 20, yeah, 2020, 2016, I don't know. Just know this. You gave up all of this shit. You could have grew old with this person. This person's going to work with you. And it was time for you to get changed. You was going to be a wealthy man. Because you deserve this. But this is what you're getting. Despair. You chose despair over great fortune. You chose a thief over expected income. You chose a, a regular heart. You chose a harlot over a privileged lady or a privileged man. You chose poverty over love. And this all could have been through your mammy trying to tell you this. And the reason why I'm saying this in particular is because somebody mammy is alone. She, her pathway is blocked. You took, you got information from somebody who's not even happy with themselves. Is it coming from a hurt place or a healthy? Start asking yourself that. But like, and when you start taking advice from people, see where, see where the energy is at. See where they're coming from. Because if it's coming from something healthy or something that's good, then you might want to listen to it. And you might not like what you're hearing. But hey, it's, it's, it's coming from truth or whatever. Somebody, mama or sister, auntie, grandma, somebody led them down the wrong damn path, told them to stay with a bitch because they the mother of their kids or they married. The, the most I said, y'all keep letting man tell you that. Like, no, the most I don't want you to be stuck nowhere where you're sad or where you're miserable at. The most I did not create you to be holding back or to be out in the cold. This is what the most I created you for. The devil wants you to do this. Lusty energy to be sad and all of this shit. The most high is telling you, isolate yourself from this so you can at least become a king again. Because this is what you in. You're not going to get shit all because you turned down a damn earth angel. If you like to book a personal reading, please email me at SphinxTarot at Yahoo.com. If you need fast booking, go to look that. Look for me on social media under Sphinx Tarot. I'm on Instagram, Twitter, Facebook, YouTube, TikTok. Namaste, gang gang.